All right, off to the polls I go. Uh, look, uh, camera. Uh, lapel pen, which will stay in my pocket until such time as I finish voting, and then I'll go stand outside and wave signs. Uh, cards. I got a hundred of these. I probably passed out five or six myself, but I hand them to other Ron Paul supporters when I meet them and say, hey, put these in tip jars, right, because it talks about tax-free tips. So, I've, I don't know, I've got a few of those. Like I said, do the things. You, I actually made a few phone calls, but I called friends. I didn't call strangers. I said, hey, it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to go out for Ron Paul. That actually changed a few more. You were like, oh, I got kids. Like, it's, it's like... You're not going to get this chance again, ever, in your whole life, right? You'll be able to say, I voted for Ron Paul, right? <laughs> you can say it, I changed my, right? Because, I mean, lifelong Democrats and independents and other people in Hawaii, we have to go register as a Republican to go vote for Ron Paul. And you can say, you did it. And uh, years from now, years and years from now, it's like <laughs> on St. <Saint> Crispin's Day. <laughs> Henry V, uh, you will be able to say you went out and voted for Ron Paul, right? And all these other people, they can say, like, I know some other, uh, uh, oh, actually only two, actually two people that are just like, too busy, they got too much to do, to, the country's not important enough, their business is going to go to hell, but anyway, I, I, you know, skip it, fine, all right, I, you know, that's their prerogative not to go vote, but, uh, you know, I know two people out of everybody I called that said they're too busy, but everybody else understands that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to go and vote for Ron Paul. And, uh, like I said, win or lose, right, at the end of the year and November comes, this thing's so not over. And if you take a look at what's going on, Ron Paul's, anyway, I'll make another video and talk about the fact that if he runs as an independent, he will be the most well-positioned independent in the history of the world, or in the history of the United States, anyway. But, uh, we're not even close to that yet. The delegates, the delegates! I know so many people that are going to go down there and be delegates, um, here in Hawaii. And look what happened in Nevada, and look what's happening in other states. It's all about the delegates. But man, your states that are coming up, if you don't go out and vote for Ron Paul and you weren't a part of this thing, you're going to be, I'm telling you, you're going to look back and you're going to be sorry. Anyway, you smell that? I smell that. Ah, it's, it's the smell of fraud. <laughs> but anyway, mmm, fraud in the evening here in Hawaii. It's thick. It's thick in the air. You can almost taste it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I'm going to go down there with my camera and have a good time. Take a few pictures, take some video. And you can be damn sure it'll be up on the internet. Uh, well, maybe not, because if it's completely boring and there's nothing going on, I'm not going to post it. But anyway, I'm going to take some video and uh, have a good time. Talk to a bunch of my friends and other Ron Paul supporters. Uh, all you other people that went out there in caucus and supported Ron Paul, I hope you guys brought your cameras because I look at some of those numbers and, oh, they're pretty fishy already. Really, in Kansas, Santorum can't get 150, but can't even get 300 people out, and uh, Ron Paul, I think it was at 4,000 or something crazy, it was over 3,000 people show up for Ron Paul, and yet, look at the numbers. I mean, even if, you know, 10% of the guys that showed up for Ron Paul is still more than all the guys that showed up for Santorum, but anyway, right, never mind. Uh, I'm off to go vote. Enjoy yourselves, I'll talk to you soon. And, the, and you'll notice there's no links, because there doesn't need to be links, maybe I'll put some up later. But uh, anyway, enjoy yourselves.